Making our outfits are little matchy matchy. <laughs> oh no, are they? Yeah, That's they're so they're both striped. We've got the stripes running. Big shelf. Aria, Lewis, it's truly such a pleasure to get to be speaking with you today about um, this beautiful series. Congratulations. We're so thankful that you can be here to talk about it now. The show has already been out for a few weeks and it's been one of the highest, you know, trending shows on Netflix uh, since it was released. For both of you, <laughs> what is the most exciting part of getting to now be able to share the series with the world? Well, it's always, you know, when you, when you work on something for so long and you, and, you, and you pour your heart into it and you just hope that it does connect with, you know, as many people as possible, that you can make people feel something and, um, and sort of, yeah, connect a little bit. And um, to now have this kind of response, to know that that many people have watched it and, and loved it so far, is just quite an overwhelming feeling, I think, very hard to sort of fathom. It's incredible. Um, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, just this concept of so many people being able to see something that we worked so hard on um, and that it's just brought into their homes for them to to feel and be with is, is extraordinary. And I get like hundreds of messages from people every day about how they resonated with the show or with the character. And it's just I, like it brings me to tears every every time and I, I sit and try to read all of them and it's just it's remarkable it's such an honor that like people would spend their their free time that they could do anything with experiencing something that we made and I just mm -hmm. um it's so um it's so wonderful and I feel like sometimes I, I you know it, I, like maybe if this is a simulation and maybe it's all fake and then I I walk out the door and I take a walk <laughs> and I end up in Times Square and there's my head and it's 100 feet tall and it's just, yeah, no, this is not, it's not inside your head, Harry. What's the quote from Harry Potter? It's know. not inside your head, Harry. Why would what, that mean what, it isn't real? What part was Someone, that? Someone, who knows, who knows that quote? I just rewatched it, I, I, should, I should know. It's the, the, the train scene at the end of the last movie. The very last scene. Yeah, do you know? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Why should that mean that it's not real? This this currently feels like a simulation for me hearing yeah. you be quoting Harry Potter about this. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's so touching to hear. And I would love to go a little bit into just your relationship, the two of you in this show. You know, you two spent a lot of time apart in the series until eventually coming face to face. But I'm wondering, did you meet before the show started production at all, or was it really right in the weeds of it? Yeah, we we met about a week before production started. Yeah, in, in Budapest already. We had been sort of chatting on Instagram, uh, really sending right, each yeah. other uh, playlists, playlists and songs yeah. that we both connected with that could, you know, uh, help ourselves immerse into, uh, into the story into and into the script and um, into the characters. And then we met for the first time on your mm -hmm. birthday. On my I birthday, think. yeah. Sean had like arranged this little surprise party with some of the crew and yeah. that was really the first time we'd like actually got to meet and talk yeah. and whatever yeah. and um so that was really fun because it was it was my first, I think I was only I'd only been there for like two days at the time and it was just so interesting because these characters like you said they don't share the screen a lot but for Werner he's very cognizant of Marie's presence and he builds this construct of her and for Marie she has no idea that someone's listening but she has this sort of hope that maybe someone is and he is the manifestation of that of that hope. We really took it to heart. We wanted them to to feel like when they finally did meet on screen that that relationship had been built up. Yeah, because otherwise it wouldn't have worked. I think if if it if work. the audience doesn't feel like, the connection before they meet, yeah, it, it'd be a bit. It would, uh, like, yeah. Okay. Why? Why? Why are they so why, why good did, to each other now? Why do they care so yeah. deeply and so? Yeah. It was, I think, important for us to just be really comfortable with each other, obviously, because like you work together, but also like just to bring like our natural radiance to the characters and to have the audience feel that too. Because very much like the radio connects the two characters, like we're connecting with the audience across yes. these airwaves. And like, I just want to make sure that it feels really natural and, and honest. And I think that that scene, it was my first time doing anything with another actor because all the scenes I'd done previously were me alone in the attic. So being right. able to, to do that and have that very high stakes scene yeah. <laughs> be the first thing, it added a bit of, of natural nervousness oh, to it. And also, is, you know yeah. what happened on that day? Um, Mr. Hugh Laurie came he to set. He showed up. He, so he, he wasn't yeah. there yet. Yeah, and we, he had, came. we hadn't met him at no. all. So he's like oh sitting at the desk and we're just doing this very intense romantic scene. And he's just sitting there like, 
No, I, 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 I remember we were about to do the, the, the dance scenes, yeah, yeah, which yeah. then becomes the kissing yeah. scene. And, and Don't have Hugh Laurie watch and you Hugh, kiss. Hugh Laurie yeah. comes into the attic and then, she, and, and then Sean goes, Oh yeah, you gotta watch this, brother. Go watch them, they're so good. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch this. Look at how like, good they are. And Hugh's like, oh. Mm -hmm. I suppose they are very good. Yes, yes, yes. I, I truly could not have asked for a better anecdote. <laughs> and he said to me, you're, you're wonderful, you're wonderful. No, he... Fire me and hire Jeff Goldblum. It's yeah, fine. yeah, he's... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the one person missing from the series, I felt, while I was watching it. Jeff I Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, I know. This would have been perfect if we just had some Jeff Goldblum. Just like, maybe like a Stan Lee style cameo. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing all of that, guys. It's such a pleasure to hear that you guys had such a great time uh, working on this series. Congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much. Thank you. Really appreciate your time.